Zoom gives us a couple of different ways we can share files within our meeting. If I click on share and then I go to files at the top, I can choose my Google Drive. So if I have any files in my Google Drive, I can click on share and then it will prompt me to log into my Google Drive. I'll click connect. Now authorize that Zoom can connect that into it. Click allow. Click allow again. And there's my files. I'll scroll down to say content.jpg. I'm going to share that file. I'm going to click share. And here's what that document looks like as it's being shared. Now I'm going to take a look at it from the user perspective. Here it is from a participant's user perspective. And I can see that same file right there. Now at this point, I cannot do anything with the file. So I can't print it. I can't share it. I can do a screenshot of it from my host computer, but I can't really grab that particular file. So there's another way that we can do that. So I'm going to click stop sharing. And now that file is gone and it's gone for the user as well. The other option is before you go in to create a Zoom meeting, you'll want to go over to settings on the left hand side. In the settings, I'm going to scroll down to where it says file transfer. Here it is. We'll turn that on. And we see that hosts and participants can send files through the meeting chat. So now we can copy and paste files right into the meeting chat. If you want, you can specify only specific file types, such as docx for Microsoft Word, etc. I'm just going to leave it open. And I'm going to host a meeting. And next, I'm going to click chat. So with my chat box popped out, I can just grab any file and just drag it right in. And now everyone will be able to access that particular file. And that file would come from your own local computer rather than from the cloud service that I showed earlier. So there's two different ways there that you can share files. And the way doing it within the chat allows the user to actually download the file as well.